How's it, how's it feeling starting your pro career in Chicago, a city that just loves great hoops players? Yeah, it's amazing. As um, soon as they heard my name get drafted, it was just, they already inherited me within here. Um, I love being here. I wanted to come to Chicago, and luckily I got picked by Chicago Teaspoon. It's an amazing coach, um, coach by Coach Mulkey, as you know. So being able to just have this in my hands right here within a confidence piece I think is great. I mean, it's been easy transition for me because coming from a program where I came from and then just easily transitioning into this has been easy. So I love being here. I've had nothing but great experiences here, and I'm excited for this team. They're talking about wanting to come to Chicago, hoping they would draft. Yes. Why was that? <laughs> Teaspoon, everything that Teaspoon stands for, I mean, already they had won a championship in 2021, and being able to continue that legacy on from Candace Parker, and then she retired. So I want to win. I've always been wanted to be a winner. Um, and coming here and talking to Teaspoon over the phone during my whole draft process, I was like, this is somebody I need in my life, and somebody on and off the court. Like, I like having a relationship with my coach on and off the court. That's what I have with Coach Mulkey. So being able to have that here, is like a mother figure away from home. So I, I, I just loved it. anything that she had, the talent that she had. I didn't care. I wanted to play for. I wanted to play for Teaspoon. So given that you you established that relationship, mm -hmm. with her, you were hoping to get picked by the. State. Yes, when I saw they when, had went up that, that that they turned their pick from eight to seven with Minnesota, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going. I knew it. I already knew I was going. I was like, they had to do that for me. <laughs> so what was the moment like when you, when the call comes in? You wanted it, you got it. What are you feeling emotionally in that moment? So when they, when six passed in Minnesota, I mean, uh, Mystics passed on me, at first I thought I was going home. I was like, okay, I'm, I might be going home. But I didn't want to go home. I wanted to come to Chicago. So when um, that six pick went past, I was like, okay, like, okay. So then when I heard my name, I just dropped my head and just started, like, getting emotional because I was just so happy, like, all the hard work, everything I put in, all the long years, traveling, AAU, different schools, and then being able to have my family right there was just a surreal moment for me. You mentioned how you are just driven by winning. Mm -hmm. How do you think that that feeling and that emotion can help as you join this team, kind of inject that that feeling and that vibe into the culture. Yeah, coming in with the money mentality, um, being able to have that chip on your shoulder, understanding where they placed us this year in the league, and I love being the underdog. I mean, I, coming into LSU my first year, being going in the underdog and winning a national championship, we don't have no place but to go up. We, can, we can't go any, in, any lower than 12 right now. So I love that mentality and just coming in practice, we want to win every drill. We want to win every everything in practice and I've always wanted to do that. So being able to just give confidence to my teammates. Um, I don't know if they've ever had a rookie so confident coming in, being able to be super vocal, um, being able to just step up for them and be there for them. So I try to be whatever I can for this team and I know my mentality every day coming into practice is going to be helpful. Even though you're a rookie? Even though I'm a rookie. You feel comfortable <laughs> yeah, I in feel, that role being vocal? I feel super comfortable. We had a um, dinner before we even started training camp and I told him, I was like, I'm going to be vocal. I'm going to be a, I'm a rookie, but I'm going to be vocal. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to come in here and just work every day and I'm going to push everybody in practice because I, I know the great out of all of you guys. I've watched you guys since you were in college. I've watched you guys as pros because I am admire to be here one day. And now I'm playing with such amazing players and being able to have this opportunity. I don't want this to slip out of my hands. So you know this is a tough league to play in. And I'd, I'd rather, I wouldn't rather have th these letters across my jersey right now. Chicago Sky is who I'm playing for and I'm excited for. First, WNBA training camp. What are you noticing in terms <laughs> of those differences between playing at the pro level, the highest level, and playing in college? You gotta learn fast. You ain't got time to sit down and and, 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 and try to learn the plays, and you gotta learn quick. And I, I think I've done a great job doing that and being able to have vets that I do have that have been super helpful for me. Um, from day one, they've always been able to be there for me and help me through stuff. So it was an easy turn for me to learn the plays quick because at LSU, we had to learn plays quick too. So uh, at first, the first day, I was like, okay, I gotta get this down. And then finally, I was able to get it down and I think all of us are being able to get it now. Now you got your first preseason game a couple days away. You got the season opener around the corner. Emotionally, what are you feeling knowing you're going to play your first 
professional games here soon. I'm excited. I mean, personally, just knowing going in the mentality that a lot of people didn't think I would be here, a lot of people didn't think I would get drafted top 10, and being able to prove myself, being able to know who I am. I'm super confident in who I am, and I know what I can do and my capabilities. Having coaches that are super confident in me, and then just having teammates that are confident in me as well. So I'm excited. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anybody. Um, just being able to know, like, the mentality to go in and want to have to work every day because those vets against the other teams don't care. They're going to come at me every single day, and that's what I want them to do. I want it to be hard, and I think my teammates have prepared me for this moment. You played such a big role in the rise in popularity mm -hmm. in basketball. How much pride do you take in that, and how much do you want to continue to even raise the bar higher? Yeah, being able to see sold-out games already, sold-out jerseys, sold-out everything um, for women, and more people are watching the game. Um, I walk down the street and, like, hey, Angel Reese, you don't see – women being able to be recognized like that and it's an honor and so many little girls look up to me and that's why even the hate that I get I still stand strong every single day because I have people that look up to me and if I if I let myself down and be down they might think that they don't have somebody that can do these things so being able to just kind of stay confident every day and understand like the bigger picture we've done so many great things we're on the rise right now and I think we're in a really good space right now for women's basketball you talk about there's people who hate mm -hmm. which is the case with social media yeah you know, across the board these days. But why do you think so many people gravitate to you and and love to watch <laughs> you play in your style? Everybody loves me because I'm super competitive. Um, I don't take anything personal on the court. I'm going to go after you, no matter who you are, if we're friends or not. I'm, I'm super competitive, and I want to win. I talk trash, um, and I just have a winning mentality. Every single day, I want to win everything. It doesn't matter down the court, um, in a drill, anything. I always have that winning mentality. And I also am really outspoken. I speak on things that a lot of people are scared to speak on or say things that people are scared to speak on. And I've always been unapologetic. Like, I stand on who I am and stand strong. I think that's why people love me. And everybody loves me because I just have this, like, glowing personality every single day. <laughs> you wake up that way? Some days, yeah. obviously. I mean, some days are harder than others, but I just know, like, my energy is contagious and when I come in practice when I come and do anything like a lot of people look my energy into them and if I can come in every day and just be that bright spirit for somebody that may be having a bad day I know we can go far so I'm just happy I saw you tweeting about how Caleb Williams yeah that's my that's my dog yeah that. That's my have dog. you guys been in touch since yeah, you both drafted? Yeah. My, do you have plans to <laughs> link up while you're here and hang out? Yeah, me and Caleb are cool. Um, my One of my good friends or best friends with him that are my friend group. So we're all from the DMV area. Um, just being able to have another DMV tie. Um, Amazing, another amazing player. This rookie class was amazing coming in. I hope Chicago get the Bulls get some guys too. So we lit right now. We turning the city up right now. They're supporting women's basketball, not just the football, but they're supporting women's basketball and just being able to gravitate towards us and everybody in the community is great, bringing us all together. Um, I told him, um, well, we talked. We talked uh, after he got drafted. And he, I don't know when he's gonna be here, but we're all gonna hang out. My friends coming down, and we're all gonna hang out because we're all cool. So I'm excited. Very cool. And then lastly, how you when you think about your time mm -hmm. wearing a Chicago Sky uniform you know and and you've got Camilla joining too mm -hmm. you know it feels like this is a, a moment of change for mm -hmm. this franchise yeah how do you envision what happens during your time here Ch championships winning winning championships and understanding that every day that I have a coach that comes in with the mentality that we are we are who we are and we are 12th in the league right now but that means nothing. Being able to come in and punch every day and being able to work every day until we get to the top. I've been an underdog before. I, I know what it takes and I remember, it, this gives me deja vu going into LSU and transferring there. A lot of people didn't think that we would win a championship. We lost a couple games and I just envisioned like, we coming out, I think we're gonna come out. I think we're gonna come out and, and, and surprise a lot of people. And I think you surprise yourself before you surprise others in practice. I'm, I'm surprised of where we are right now and being able to see what we can do in such little time. Friday, we're gonna see exactly where we are and being able to have two preseason games is gonna help us. But we got some winning coming. I know we're gonna have a way better season than last year. I can at, say that for sure. At the very least, it feels like the energy. The energy in practice is, is high. The energy in practice is high. Everybody wants to go get it, and everybody knows that who we are. And I think across your jersey, you don't matter what the last name says on the back. You're playing for something bigger, and that's what's on the front of your jersey. And being able to have teammates like that is great. I mean, everybody is super competitive. Everybody wanting to get on the court first, and like I love that. I love being able to compete with these girls. So I'm excited for for this season.